remain in the light, children of the day. For a higher God is a sun and shield. A higher will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Yeshua answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If any man walk in the day, he stumbleth not, because he seals the light of this world. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbleth, because there is no light in him. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thine eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when thine eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. And this is the condemnation, that light is coming to the world. And men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Then spake Yeshua again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. Know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things come of the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. They zealously affect you, but not well. Yeah, they would exclude you that ye might affect them. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of God, who know in the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. I gotta repeat that. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. Am I therefore become your enemy, because I tell you the truth? Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we, are bound to give thanks always to God, Allah Hayyam, for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. Well, until he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord, Yeshua Christ. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught whether by word or our epistle. And family, my brothers and sisters in the Lord, stand strong in the faith, regardless of the persecution or the ridicule you experience. It's for Christ's name's sake. Don't ever forget that. Keep it holy. Stay sanctified. Set apart. Those who love the world will hate you because you are not of it. Don't hate back. But continue in the love of Yeshua, Mashiach, our Lord and our Savior Christ. That they have no evil thing to say of you. 
That they who oppose you may be ashamed This shuts the voice of the devil up in their hearts and minds Bringing a deeper conviction that may lead to their deliverance If God permits And precepts on that family is Titus chapter 2 verses 7 and 8 And 2 Timothy chapter chapter 2 verse 24 through 26 And to everybody out there, look family Let's get it, live the word Don't just talk it, walk it And walk it until the end Let's get it family, shalom